Greetings and salutations, my beautiful people, and welcome to the show on the second channel known as Regarding, where I just fucking ramble about anything and anything and everything and anything and everything to do with video games, music, movies, life, any anything really. Now this video's title may be a bit confusing to some of you. The cack on knack. Why am I talking about the hate that was given to Knack on PS4? Why why would I talk about that when I gave it an okay, well I gave it a six out of ten. Um, on my on my tinker time, I, I pretty much gave it a six. I put it in acceptable, which is five slash six out of ten. So why on earth am I talking about the backlash on Mac when I when I can see what the hate is? Well, let's just stop and think for a second. It's been I don't know how many years since a good proper traditional crash game, a proper Crash Bandicoot platformer. Not the racing games and not the Titans fucking games. None of that. But just, I'd say probably since Wrath of Cortex, maybe Twin Sanity, but that was a bit different. But in terms of like jumping into different stages, like a Mario kind of approach, instead, I think since Wrath of Cortex, we haven't had a great good old bash at a good old Crash Bandicoot platformer since then. So fucking decade, maybe more. And then when the PS4 was announced, whenever the fuck it was announced, everyone was talking about a potential bringing the IPs, well, Sony's IPs, potentially bringing them back into the limelight in next gen. Oh my god, that would be fucking amazing, right? Most people that grew up on the PlayStation 1 grew up with Crash Bandicoot, and they grew up with Spyro, and they grew up with Metal Gear Solid, and all of this awesome shit. And everyone was asking, why can't Naughty Dog bring Crash back, or why can't someone get a good Crash game right, or all of that stuff. Uh, and everyone is wondering if anything is going to happen on the PS4. But then, that's all well and good, and I would love that as well. But then, all the people that were saying that, especially on all of my like Facebook messages and everything, they were asking my opinions towards the matter, all of the people that were saying that were also saying, don't play Knack because it's a piece of shit. Or even more so than that, on my top 10 games that I like and no one else does video, why the fuck do you like Crash Wrath of Cortex? It's a rip-off of Crash 3, it's shameful, it's just a glorified paint job of a shitty game and all that stuff. So let's think about this for a second. Okay, you call Knack shit, right? You call Knack shit. That's fair enough. You, you can have your opinion. I can see why people don't like Knack, that's fair enough. And you call Crash Bandicoot the Wrath of Cortex shit. That's fine, you can have your opinion to that as well. But if you're saying that for both of those games, what the fuck are you expecting for a next-gen Crash Bandicoot game? And in my opinion, Crash Bandicoot the Wrath of Cortex on PS2 was fucking great fun! It was what exactly what I wanted and expected from a PS2 jump, a next-generation jump from the PS1 Crash games, and especially considering they weren't made by Naughty Dog, that, well, Wrath of Cortex was the, um, I think it was the only one anyway, it was made by Universal and Konami, actually. It was made by Konami, I'm, I'm sure it was anyway. Maybe I'm going mad, I'm sure it was. Maybe, maybe I'm fucking wrong, I don't know, I'm thinking off the top of my head, but I think it was Konami, but anyway, these guys took Naughty Dog's IP, well, or, or they lost it, I don't know what happened, but, um, I haven't really looked into it, but, um, so they took on this new IP and tried to recreate the old nostalgic feelings of the original's gameplay while keeping it updated and next gen. And yes, there are many elements of it that are very similar to Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, and some of the boss battles aren't great, and there are, there's a, a load, well, not a load, but a few problems with it, quite a few problems with it, as a game. But then when people are saying, oh my god, you must bring Crash Bandicoot back into next gen, well, if you didn't like Crash Wrath of Cortex, I don't know really what the fuck you were expecting. I don't know what else you can do to make it not a rip-off, not a shameless cash-in of Crash 3 or the other classic crashes, not just a glorified paint job of the earlier games which didn't need to happen, and all that stuff. I mean, I don't know what else can be done. And this is why the title of this video comes into the situation, because Everyone was hating on Knack for loads of different reasons. Everyone was saying, oh, it's very linear. Oh, it's there's not much to it. Oh, it's very cheap. Oh, it's this and it's that and it's that, blah, 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 blah. And that's fair enough. I can see what you mean. But my point of saying is that everyone, some people were saying, oh my god, Knack is the next Crash Bandicoot. It's the next gen PS4 Crash Bandicoot. And um, I can't agree with that myself, but I don't ag agree with it for the, for, the, for the reason that other people don't agree with it. I don't agree with it because... I just didn't think it lived up to that kind of charm, that kind of um, tight gameplay feel. They were just a, it just didn't quite match up. But everyone was saying in terms of like the controls and the jumping and the platforming and everything, it feels very much like Crash. And you know what? I can I can understand that controlling knack is great, great fun, and it feels very much like Crash. But my point is, if there was going to be a Crash Bandicoot Next Generation game, the game mechanics 
and what you can actually do with the Crash Bandicoot formula will be more than half of what Knack has actually done. Yes, Knack may be occasionally repetitive and it may be basically the same thing over and over again, but and, and everyone was saying, oh yes, this isn't next-gen gaming, it's just the same thing over and over and over again. And it's and it gets really boring and it gets really difficult and it's like, okay, that's fair enough. So how exactly do you expect Crash Bandicoot to fare up? I don't really understand. I don't know what I don't know what these people want. It's like, okay, you get you 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 jump through the stages and hit the boxes and get the gems and get the crystals and then do the time trials and then fight bosses. Yeah, you, know, you know? And that's less when you think about it as a whole. The whole idea is less so than what Knack has done. Knack has more mechanics, it has more going on, it's probably got more of an more of an excuse to show glorified backdrops and pan back to amazing landscapes. It's got more of an excuse to do that, and also the voice acting and everything, because Crash can't have a voice. Mm -hmm, this, is what, this is what the people want. So the cutscenes obviously can be done, and done really well. And it's just, it just made me think, it just made me think like, okay, if nobody liked Knack, and nobody liked fucking Crash Wrath of Cortex made in 2001, what the hell are people going to be expecting for a next-gen Crash game? Now, I don't know if there's actually going to be a next-gen Crash game, but it just makes me wonder, what are other people thinking? What are they hoping for? Because, by the sounds of it, if they want something that's similar to the earlier games, what you're going to be getting on the ne on the PS4, what you're going to be getting is going to be much less than Knack is. So why is it going to be better or up to up to up to spec, if you know what I mean, up to the spec of the PS4, up to our modern expectations? So yeah, just an interesting thing to think about. It's not like a hypocritical thing or anything, but it's just in I'm just interested to know why people see certain um, games that have that are trying to recreate the style of. PS1 IPs redone and then revamped and then given a new twist on the idea and adding more to it and then all of a sudden it's not actually that good because it should be doing less and I don't know it's it was just it was just interesting so yeah what what would make a new crash game on PS4 different than Knack it's going to be less than Knack it's going to be much less than Knack so what's going to make it different and what's going to make it better if nobody liked Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex what else can be done, guys? Because I figured that that was a great jump into the next gen, so... Um, from PS1 to PS2, rather. So, what? You're expecting the PS4 to do miles differently with the Crash Bandicoot formula? I don't know. So, I'm thinking it might be a nostalgia thing, it might be a connection to the character and the franchise. It might be because um, Crash had set some bars and set some kind of, like, um... Yeah, set some bars, set some kind of trends with um, platformers in general, 3D platformers. And it'd be nicer to have the, the originators come back and revisit it in glorified next gen. And nobody wants these new shitty knack IPs and all that stuff. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But still, interesting thought. That's all. This video has been regarding the CAC on knack. And I am Keddy and I'm fucking signing off.